up, family? It's your boy D coming right back at you with another one. Right now, we have another product for you guys to review. Well, this is technically not an it's not a review. It's not an, an unboxing. I guess I can I can call it an intro. This is a new amplifier that I bought. One of the new amplifiers that I bought. This one right here did come from Parts Express. This is uh, from Sure Electronics. This is the uh, the AA dash AB. 32281. I know that's a mouthful, but this guy here promises a whole lot. This is a 200 watt by two channel Class D audio amplifier board, or what they call a T amp. I don't, I don't exactly know what a T amp is, <laughs> so somebody can enlighten me on that. Please let me know exactly what is a T amp. All I knew is that this thing do two outputs. At 200 watts, I need two outputs at around 200 watts for my home entertainment system that I have set up in my bedroom, my theater system to be more specific. Uh, I did go out and I did get a new receiver that I'm going to be uh, reviewing for you guys in the future. Uh, but just know that it's a 7.2 uh, audio, re audio video receiver. And that .2, of course, means that it, it, it does have two subwoofer pre-outs. So exactly the reason, what, so what the exact reason was for me buying this is that AV receiver. So what exactly do this guy supply? What can it do? And what is up with this big ass fan on top of it? <laughs> to be honest with you, I like the fan on top of it because the fan indicates that the manufacturer uh, actually took into account of uh, the power that's going to be processing through this thing and thought to put a fan on it. Some of these don't come with fans, not specifically from the Sure Electronics uh, audio lineup because to be more specific or to be fair to them, I believe every amp they have over 100 watts actually has a fan on it. So that's, you know, kudos to them. But if some manufacturers don't put fans on the amplifiers, uh, some car audio uh, amplifiers that I've seen uh, as of late and uh, in the past did not come with fans, and those things would run so hot, and it's very, very annoying to uh, to have you know go out and go out and spend as much money you spend on this audio equipment, especially for car audio, just to see that it doesn't even come with a fan. And so when you have like caps and things malfunctioning or you have components on the board itself desoldering, a lot of times that come from it being overheated without proper cooling or someone that maybe has placed it in the car vehicle somewhere in a trunk under the seats. You'll be surprised at where some people put their amplifiers at. Some people put them by the firewall and those places don't get good ventilation to be honest with you. So to see the big fan up here is a plus for me. I'm really digging it. Um, but enough of that. So what are the ratings of some of these things? Like I told you uh, earlier, you have two inputs here and you have two outputs of course, which are back here. As far as power, uh, you got a few options right here with connections. You have this uh, 2.1 millimeter uh, jack right here for power. And you have the option also to uh, to hardwire it if you got wires, which is what I think that I'm going to end up doing is actually wiring it like that, you know, with, with, with straight wires instead of you. Because I don't I actually I don't even know if I have a jack this small. Most barrel connectors that I have are about this big and they just won't fit into something this small. But as far as hardware, this is pretty much all you get. It did not come with any hardware. It came straight out of the box like this. It was properly padded with this pad on the bottom and some on the top as well and uh, size and top as well. So that's pretty good thing that they did. Uh, but enough of that. Let's move on to some of the specs of this. This thing is rated, like I said, uh, two by 200. And the voltage that you can get out of here, it, re it says that it's going to be requiring a 15 to 36, uh, volt power supply. So that is massive to me. Coming from car audio to hear that something actually requires 15 to 36 volts in order to obtain its power rating to me is a lot, but that's the difference that I'm noticing between car audio and home audio. Home audio seem to require 
more voltage and less amperage, whereas car audio seems to be low voltage and high amperage. Some car audio systems can get upwards of 50 amps depending on exactly what it is that you're that you're running in your car and all of this is going off of a 12 to 14 and a half or 12 to 15 volt uh power source so to me that's that's amazing but i guess it's all about the constructioning of the components on the board itself and how it delivers and process that power but yeah with home audio is typically in between i would say five and 24 volts typically um, you know, five and 24 volts, but I'm going to say on average around 12 to 24 volts is what you're going to see in a lot of professional home applications that I've seen like sound bars and stuff like that that I've taken apart are typically 24 volts, 12 to 24 volts, but they only draw like, like right at five amps and sometimes not even that. Sometimes in between like, like, like one and three, maybe, maybe three to five amps. I would say that, that they, that they have a draw on. So they're very efficient in that manner, but very, very high voltage. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, so yeah, that's the voltage rating of it, 15 to 36 volts. And it, it actually says it can do up to uh, 400 watts max power. Uh, the thing is, is that you're going to have that power. You're going to have to have that 36 volt power supply in order to get that 400 uh, watts out of this thing. So please keep that in mind. The only power supply that I have right now <clears throat> is a 19 volt power supply that I just, that I just got. I have this on hand already from an old uh, laptop that I had. This is an old laptop power supply. And if I can get this to zoom, hopefully I can get it to zoom for you guys. As you can see, this is an, an 18 and a half volt at 3.5 amps. So you're talking significantly less, you know, right at half of what this thing is rated at, you know, for max power, which is 36 volts. This only gives it, this little power supply here only give it half of what it's actually screaming for. So, yeah, kind of, I'm not going to use, by the way, I'm not going to be using this power supply right here. I, I am going to go out and buy a real power supply for this thing, you know, something that's, that's nice and regulated. Uh, and designed specifically for it. So don't think that I'm just going to run it off of what you just seen me giving you there. But that's pretty much it right now. If you guys want to see all the specs, you can just go over to uh, Parts Express. That's exactly where I picked this thing up for at a reasonable price. I'm not going to give the price because some people may not think it's reasonable and I just end up looking like a ass or something. So I'm not even going to get off into the pricing of it. Just know that I was very pleased with the purchase and I think that you know some in some cases you'll end up paying a whole lot more for less so I like it hopefully it do me good and I hope you guys stick with me man if you if you're wondering exactly uh what I'm going to be connecting to this I have two eight inch uh Dayton audio uh reference series subwoofers and that's what's going to be powering these those things are rated at uh I think right at 300 watts uh rms i believe i can't i cannot remember uh my apologies for that but i think they're rated at around 300 watt rms so this thing here supposed to be putting out 200 watts uh at 36 volts so that's pretty much what i'm going to be putting on it and hopefully my subs sound good right now i have my subs connected in series to uh the dayton um they have i have a dayton audio plate amplifier that's rated at 250 watt RMS. So I got them rated, I got them wired in series at eight ohms and they're not even seeing all of the 250 watts, but they sound damn good. They really do. But this thing here is rated for that. Uh, and if you, if you're wondering about some of the specifications of it, I've already, we've already gone over, uh, 36 volts, uh, in order to obtain the, um, the um the, the power rating in which it is rated at and it also is stable at three ohms that's another something that i did not point out uh frequency response is in between 20 and 20, and 20 000 hertz so you i guess you don't exactly have to put this on a subwoofer if you don't want to you can drive uh, four range drivers with this thing if you wanted to um another thing is that uh the fixed gain settings on this is 24 
26 and 28 DBs in case somebody was wondering about that in, in, in the, uh, the dimensions of this, uh, without the RCA jacks is around 4.8 on length, uh, 3.6 inches for, uh, width and one point, uh, one and a half inches for height in case anyone was really looking at this and digging what they, what they see right now. But if you want to know how this thing perform, Please stay with me uh, throughout this series. The part number for this is 320-3364. That's the Parts Express part number in case anybody want to go pick this thing up. Uh, and for right now, that's it. I'm going to cut this one short. And in the next one, you guys are going to actually see this thing perform. And I also got a, um, a couple videos out uh, talking about the uh, speakers that I'm going to be using with this as well. So go back. And check that out or just stay tuned in case I haven't put it out yet. And you guys will be seeing them videos uh, as well. But in in short, that'll be all. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one here short. And I'll explain a little bit more of what I want to say about the Zamp in the next one when I actually demo it for you guys. So as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumb down. This is a free country by all means. And if you like the video and feel like someone else may like the video, please feel free to share the video. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Click the notification bell to get more videos like this. And until next time, it's your boy D, and I'm out.